How's it going, everybody? Comrade Phil here to fix your problems and save your life. In Elder Scrolls for Oblivion, that is. I just got the game the other day, and every time I try to play it, this is what happens. So our problem here lies within Oblivion's graphic settings, and I'm going to show you two ways to fix it. First, let's go ahead and open Oblivion. Now go to the options. Everything we need is right here. I'm trying to run the game in ultra high settings, which I know my computer can handle. Originally, I thought this was the problem, and I kicked it all the way down to very low. Now this worked, but it looked god awful. Do not do this unless your computer cannot handle any higher settings and you absolutely have to to play the game. The real problem here lies right here under screen effects. It's HDR, which is a high quality lighting effect. Now, Oblivion is an older game and it's having a hard time communicating with your computer. It thinks your computer is incapable of running this lighting effect. The first way to solve the problem is to simply select Bloom instead of HDR. Now to make it look a little nicer, we're going to go to Anti-Aliasing, and I'm going to select four samples, hit OK, and let's see how the game looks now. So there we go, that is our quick fix to make Oblivion work again. And it looks beautiful because it's more than one color. Now the problem is, we're still not playing in HDR lighting, which is better than Bloom. Now in order to make that happen, the process to fix it is slightly more complicated, but if you know how to open my documents and type, you'll be good. So let's go ahead and do that. Now that we've exited out of Oblivion, the first thing we're going to want to do is go back into Oblivion. So let's open it up again. Now I'll go back into options and simply just select HDR again. This message is just telling us that anti-aliasing and HDR cannot be used at the same time, so just click OK. Click OK and exit. Now let's go over to our start menu, go to computer, go to my documents and find the folder that says my games. Find the oblivion and up top there should be a text document that says render info. Click on that, and this is what we're looking for. Now this tells us which shader package Oblivion is using. Mine is using shader package two. I don't know if this is the same for everybody, but whichever number is right here, you're gonna to need to remember for the next part. So let's minimize this. Now I go to computer, Windows 7, program files times 86, scroll down to Steam, find Steam apps, Go to Common, Oblivion, Data, Shaders, and here's all of our shaders for Oblivion. This tells me that I'm using shader package number two, which is this one right here. Whichever number it says right here, find the corresponding folder in here. And what you're going to want to do is replace it with shader package 19. So, what I'm going to do, since I have Shader Package 2, I'm going to rename Shader Package 19, Shader Package 002. Click Enter. Now, since that already exists, I have to do this really quick. Rename the original Shader Package 2, Shader Package 19. Click Enter. And go back to this and simply just take away the parentheses, the two, and the space and click enter. So all we did was swap the names for the two files. And that should make everything work. Let's go back into Oblivion and see how it looks. So there you have it. Oblivion is now working with HDR lighting and she looks a beaut. It does look better than bloom lighting, and it certainly looks better than a blank blue screen with nothing but HUD. I hope this helped you, and if it did, 
please give me a like and subscribe. This is Comrade Fail, signing out.